we believe the worst thing that can happen to us is to die. And we don't think that maybe this, like when we're, you know, that actually is a good thing. We don't believe that God has something on the other side of us. We don't actually believe that because the worst thing that could happen to us is for us to lose our freedoms, us to lose our lives, to lose our money. Those are the worst things we have that can happen to us in our Western culture and mm. our Western Christianity is, but God says there's so much more. So why do we fear that? Why do we fear losing our lives? Why do we fear losing even our, our family's lives when we actually follow God and the Bible's so clear, like, don't be afraid of those things. Don't be afraid of losing those things. Love, despite all of that, like that was mind blowing to me. And I even confessed that to them. I was like, my greatest fear is that I would die and leave my kids without a father. Yeah. That's relatable. Yeah. And, and he said, do you, I mean, do you believe that God wouldn't provide for your kids if you were gone? And I was like, I guess I do. And that's why I'm afraid (laughs) of it. Like it's real. And so even just confessing that has helped me think through that process. I wouldn't say I'm totally, <laughs> totally healed of that fear, but like um, it's definitely helped work wonders. And, and but it's like total like everybody in our country, our culture almost is afraid to die or leave somebody behind or um, that or lose some, their way of life. Yeah. Or lose yeah. their way of life. And that's not the life that God calls us to. God calls us to, just trust him in every circumstance and that he will be able to provide that, I, that I can trust him to provide for my family. Even if for some reason I was to die, you know, if I really believe in God, that's what he calls me to do is trust him in the midst of that. And we, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's hard. I think most of us kind of fall into this camp where God, I know you can do it, yeah, but I don't think you're going to, mm. I mean, I think that's something that I, I mean, I, I've journaled a lot, you know, in my personal time about that idea. Yeah. Like, I, I know you can, but will you do it? Like, and, and I think a lot of us, if I'm being honest about myself, when I'm faced with these circumstances in my life, sometimes I do think like, no, like he just won't. He just won't. I, I don't know why he won't. He just won't. And I think uh, part of that is being okay that he won't because i think my my when i say like well he just won't he just won't is well dang it like that's messed up that he won't yeah and i think the challenge is to say well he didn't because he wasn't supposed to and i am completely as okay with him doing it and not doing it that that is that is so easy to say and so hard to to do like to think about that's where I need to be. Like, you know, even if, you know, yeah. e- even, yeah. even if God let us burn in this furnace. Yeah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's what I was thinking this. Like, right? as soon as you started talking about this, I was like, that's exactly the verse. Like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, King, we're not going to worship you because our God is able to save us from the burning fire. But even if he doesn't, we won't do it. He right. doesn't have to. We just know he can. And they had such faith that they were willing to risk their entire right. lives. <laughs> and and if you notice the response, because if you look at my response was, "Hey God, I I don't I I don't know if I know that you can, I but I don't know if you will." And the "don't know if you will" part is based out of fear. Yeah, and their even if part is based out of the confidence they have in God, and it's not based in fear. And so, like, I think for me, I'm just really thinking out loud right now. It's just like. Man, like, how, how different is that? Like, God, I know that you can, and I know, I know that you can, and you could do it. But even if God, I'm I'm confident in who you are and, yeah. and where and where I'm going to be on on the other side of that. Whether that be, um, you know, the extreme is death. Um, but I think for a lot of us, when it comes to Americans, it's like you said, our rights. It's our it's our way of life, and being afraid that uh, Christianity is taken out of of schools and books and all that kind of stuff. And it's like God's like, I created all this, so like don't don't worry about it. Like trust in me. Mm-hmm. And and uh, uh, be a part of me, and even if whatever your fears happens, I'm with you. 